hey you guys welcome back to my channel you already know who it is and yes we are getting our nails done if you don't know if you don't know I don't know how you don't know but if you do not know I'm a nail girl I love nails and right now I'm into my long nail air and I actually love it here so you know my nail tech Tony he's here to slay never plays So I feel that every girl should have something they love to do. If it's not getting your nails done or your hair done, it should be going to the museum, going out to dinner, whatever you whatever you love to do, right? And so I love fashion, I love beauty. Those are the things that I do just for myself. But in doing, you know, the nails and the hair, I like to go to the best. I love to go to the best in the city or what I deem to be the best. And so I've been through a couple nail techs and some I loved and some not so much because I'm very, very, very meticulous. And me and Tony, we work well together because so is he. As you can see, he's clipping my cuticles and he's just going over everything, making sure everything is nice and smooth and prepped before he even gets started and that's one thing that I love about Tony he just really cares about the presentation but he's very very thorough and I really appreciate that because nowadays you know people like to get you in and out he's very fast but he's also thorough as you can see in the beginning of this video, I was very, very interested in getting the tortoise nails. I thought they were like absolutely stunning. And so I just wanted to try something a little new. I've never had tortoise nails before. And you know, he's up for any task. If you viewed his Instagram page, um, he definitely gets to the business on the designs. And so another thing I like about um, Tony is there's really not a big hump when he does my nails at all. My nails is predominantly flat, but there's never any breakage or lifting um, when I get my nails done. So when I get my nails done, if my nails lift, I may come back to you one time and that's really it because if you are a bomb nail tech, let me just say it. It should not be any lifting at all. Um, and I've been going to Tony for probably about a year. And um, I can be a little rough with my nails sometimes, but not really. And my nails like will last for at least three weeks. Even if I choose to go every two weeks, I know I can get three weeks easily with my nails still looking very very new and I really appreciate that and so here he's just you know being his meticulous self filing my nails and all of that jazz and um, I like that he's fast but he's gentle too because I don't like you know people damaging my cuticles and that such thing that little tool right there I love it so much it's so soothing and I love how it keeps the cuticle nice and clean I just really appreciate that and so um yeah this is just my nail session and as I stated before I normally go every two to three weeks depending on how I'm feeling my schedule what I have going on or what I see new because I get a lot of ideas really um from Instagram, not necessarily Pinterest, but sometimes I'll I will see something on Instagram, and then I take it take it and make it my own. Um, I saw a tortoise nail that was similar, but I didn't want it that color, and so we shifted the color. Not saying that this has not been done before, but it's just an idea that I had, and I wanted it executed on my nails, and you know the way my nail tech does it and as you can see my nails are long it's not the longest I've had them 
but it's just the length that length of nail that I'm loving at this time. So the foundation was laid and now we're on to the design. I just wanted to show a glimpse of the foundation because in my opinion, if the foundation is not right, it throws everything off. Foundation for me is key. Of course, you have to be able to execute whatever design I say. However, the foundation, if my foundation is not right, the whole nail is off. I learned that like many, many years ago. I've literally been getting my nails done since I was 15, literally no breaks. And I knew that I was gonna be that nail girl. Let me know, know in the comments the first time you got your nails done and when you knew, when you knew you were gonna be that nail girl. And so, like I said before, I'm very, very picky about my nails and my hair, like literally. And so it's funny because when I see him doing certain things, I'm like, hmm, like that orange is bright. Like I really don't like that orange, but of course that's not the finished product, but it's just amazing to me how he can look at something um, and just know exactly what to do. I think that takes so much talent and I just love to watch the actual process. It's just so soothing for me to see. Like, I just love it so much. And so, um, he's just painting my nails with this, like, pumpkin color orange. And so, we're just getting to it. And so, once again, look how flat my nails are I love that look where there's not a hump in the middle like a, a large hump when you're getting a long nail I've you know I've saw it before and I know other people can do it but a few times that it was done for me before it, it caused a lot of stress on the middle part of my nail um, and caused my nails to lift but it's just interesting and I'm grateful that he's able to just execute that look for me and there's no lifting, there's no breakage. I'm like, hey, I'm just so excited. And so um, once again, I probably go through about two to 300 different pictures um, on Instagram. As far as my feed, you would not believe my nail feed on Instagram you will be like girl <laughs> I look at like literally a lot of pictures um, a week prior uh, to me getting my nails done because I'm just so indecisive and it's so funny because like the night before my appointment I will be like okay this is it this is my final decision right and that morning I always change my mind or I ask him, hey, this or that. And he'll be like, okay, let's do this, but let's just make it matte or let's do this, let's change the color. And so I love that he always gives good ideas. And sometimes I'm like, uh, I don't know. And he's like, no, no, we're just doing it this way. And when he does, it's like a total slay. And so it's just so fun. And um, he's using a new gloss by, um, I think one of his family members or friends. And um, I really love that gloss. It was like extra like wet and glossy and shiny. And when I do a um, glossy nail, I love a high shine, especially with this design. It just made it actually pop. And um, I love this design so much. I actually plan to get it again. And so I don't know if I'm going to do it probably like, you know, midsummer or something. But I think this year thus far, this tortoise design has been my favorite look. I just loved it. And I'm just so surprised because I'm not really a, you know, color girl or 
just a tortoise type girl, but I just love this design. When it was time to take them off and get something else, I thought I was going to get this again, but I decided to do something else. But guess what? We're in our animal print era. So over the last um, few months, I've been getting animal prints and I believe I'm just going to stay here for a while in my animal print zone, zebras, cows, tortoise, that type thing. It's just so fun. And um, yeah, I'm loving this. And so I think I'll be doing, you know, like the prints for a while until I get bored and then I move on to something else. <laughs> No lifting, no chipping. When I go back, everything is intact. This is everything I love to hear. And um, ladies, and just remember, when you're searching for nail tech, just make sure that, you know, the integrity of your nails and things are being executed how you would like. You would not believe how many people I run into when I'm out that always compliments my nails and they say, oh man, I have a nail tech, but they have a story or they're not satisfied. You guys, if you're not satisfied, search and find someone that you are satisfied with. I'm big on when you're spending your money on a service, you should be satisfied. And if you speak with the person and they can't, you know, meet you in the middle or, you know, things are not working out, find somebody who is willing to, you know, help to elevate you to where you would like to be. And, you know, I'm, I'm just big on that. And so once again, you know, when you finish getting, you know, whatever type of beauty service, that should make you feel so happy. It should make you feel so good. You and the person that is performing the service should be like smiling. That should just just be a thing. And so um, once again, he's just finishing up here. And I'm geeked, y'all. Not gonna lie. Um, this is like so pretty. And I'm like, why haven't I been did this or done this? But this was my first time and I loved it. You guys, if you have not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel where we do all things lifestyle. If you don't know, I love all lifestyle content. And um, let me know if this video is nostalgic to you because it's very nostalgic for me. Um, I love, I can't even stress enough. <laughs> I love getting my nails done. Every time he sees me, he cracks up like, this is my first time I ever getting my nails done. It's just so fun. And it's so crazy because I've always been this way. <laughs> so too, initially when I started out in my profession, I used to keep my nails like really short. But now since I'm established, it's like, I'm just back to what I love more so. Um, I might go back to short nails one day, but not anytime soon, I don't think. <laughs> All right, so he is all done. Like, look at those nails. Look at that shine. It's the shine for me, y'all. It's the shine. I'm telling you, the nails are literally glistening. That top coat is like so bomb. Okay, you guys, so I'm back home. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just love to do a little something, but not too much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.